In today's video, I'm going to be talking about shoplifting penalties in the state of Florida. I'm Adam Rawson, and my team at the Rawson Law Firm and I have handled thousands of shoplifting cases all throughout the state of Florida. Um, we handle all types of criminal and white collar defense cases. So when we're talking about shoplifting penalties, there's usually about four different types of cases and, and penalty ranges that there are. The first one is uh, petty theft. Actually, the first two are petty theft. It just, the difference of the penalties depends on the dollar amount. So second degree uh, petty theft is the lowest level of, of any type of theft crime in the state of Florida, um, for, especially for shoplifting. And the value has to be really hundred dollars or less so if it's fifty dollars worth of food from Publix or you know thirty dollars worth of makeup from CVS or somewhere that would be in the realm of second degree petty theft where the max punishment is 60 days in jail the max probation is six months okay now when you have something that's a um, you know has a higher monetary amount right so a hundred dollars to seven hundred and forty nine dollars that is first degree petty theft so if it's two hundred and fifty dollars worth of food from Publix or clothes from Macy's well then you'd be in the first degree petty theft uh, range where the max sentence is up to a year in jail or a year of probation, but it's still a misdemeanor, it's still petty theft. Now where we get to the felony ranges of grand theft for shoplifting is when it's $750 or more. So if you are at Macy's and you take you know, $815, or maybe if you go somewhere like Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus, get maybe just two or three shirts, or if you shoplift an iPhone, right? You're looking already at a grand theft for shoplifting. Um, you know, type of penalty range. The max sentence for a grand theft, a third degree felony, is up to five years in prison, the, or up to five years of probation for either one of those. Um, now there's a fourth type of theft, uh, especially for shoplifting cases, that is called felony petty theft. And what happens in that kind of case, the value is still in a petty theft range, meaning under $750. It doesn't matter if it's first degree or second degree. But because the person has done this and been convicted at least twice before, the prosecutors have the discretion, meaning it's not automatic, but the prosecutors have the discretion if they want to basically increase the petty theft for, to, uh, to a felony petty theft, which would then make the punishment go anywhere from 60 uh, days in jail to a year all the way up to potentially five years in prison and have a felony on your record and become a convicted felon. So that's really the fourth type of shoplifting crime. Um, we do see it. It's not as common as the others because it requires multiple convictions, but it is there and it does happen. Now, another thing to note that's very important. In the state of Florida, if you have any conviction for any type of theft-related crime, um, especially shoplifting, there is a mandatory driver's license suspension of six months. Now, to me, this is crazy, right? What does a driver's license suspension have to do with a shoplifting charge? Nothing, right? Absolutely nothing. But that's the law. So if you're convicted of any type of shoplifting charge in the state of Florida and it's your first time, first conviction, you're looking at a mandatory six-month driver's license suspension. If it's your second conviction for any type of shoplifting charge, then it's a mandatory one year driver's license suspension. Again, what does this have to do with shoplifting? Nothing, but it's little nuances like this that really you know, are so important. And that's why you have to hire the right attorney and the right legal team, the right law firm who knows these little nuances because um, if you hire somebody that doesn't, they can walk you right into a conviction that will then suspend your driver's license. And we see quite often people have no idea, and a lot of lawyers don't even know about this you know, little minute part of the statute that, that then can hurt their clients. So it's very important to know these things. Um, you know, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully we've, I've been able to give you some great value. This is part of our series on shoplifting, so 
We've already talked about the definition and elements. Today was about the penalties. Other videos will talk about defenses, court process. We'll be discussing uh, some case results of just different type of examples of cases that we've won. And more importantly than what we've won, how we did it, why we were able to accomplish what we were able to accomplish, which is really helping our clients achieve their best future. If you ever need us, you know, you can call us. Um, our phone number will be right here below, but it's 754-206-6200. We do free strategy sessions, which are uh, consultations on steroids, where we're going over really everything about the case. We dive deep. We're going to talk strategies, tactics, um, and come up with a, a specific custom plan. So um, again, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.